Amy's Aviation, with support from the Royal Aeronautical Society. I'm at home experimenting on some more paper planes. Did you know that most paper planes have something in common with the Space Shuttle? Two, one, zero, all engine running. I know what you're thinking. Paper planes don't go into space. And you're right. But that isn't what they have in common. It's all to do with the shape of the wings. Many paper planes have, like, triangle-shaped wings, don't they? This is called a delta wing. So what, you might think? Don't all planes have wings that are the same shape? Well, no. Think about it. If you imagine the planes you get at a busy airport, the sort of planes you might go on holiday on, they don't have triangle-shaped wings, do they? Their wings stick out more sort of squarely on each side, don't they? Ready for takeoff. Your paper plane with its delta wings might fly quite well, but on real aircraft, delta wings aren't very good at low speeds. They're not very stable. But there's something delta wings are brilliant at, and that's flying super fast. Those large wings give the plane huge amounts of lift at high speeds and the ability to glide for thousands of miles. That's why the Space Shuttle had wings like this, and why it's a common shape on fighter jets too. There was even a famous passenger plane which had delta wings. You might have seen pictures of it. It was called Concorde, and was the fastest passenger aircraft ever built. Many also think it was the most beautiful plane ever. It was sleek and dart-like with slim delta wings built smoothly around the long fuselage. It was so fast it could carry its passengers at supersonic speeds to New York from London in just over three hours. Supersonic means faster than the speed of sound. That's over 760 miles an hour. Although Concorde could cruise at over a thousand miles per hour. Great if you're in a hurry. But there's a couple of big problems with all these Delta Wing planes. The first problem is that because they can be so unstable in the air, they can be really difficult to pilot. The smallest mistake could mean the plane would go into a spin, and that could mean a big crash. Luckily, most modern planes are fly-by-wire, which means that computers help take care of the difficult adjustments to keep the plane in the air. The second problem is that as they're made for speed, they need very long runways and have to go incredibly fast to take off and land. This can make them more dangerous. In 2000, a Concorde crashed when a tyre burst on takeoff. The high speeds may have contributed to this terrible disaster. Concorde were all retired in 2003. For lots of reasons, it just wasn't practical to use them for carrying passengers anymore. But they're a part of history we won't forget. Another incredible type of wing is the sort you get on a B-2, the Stealth Bomber. Now this military aircraft has to be the weirdest looking plane you've ever seen. It's enormous and over 170 feet wide, totally black all over and shaped like a big W, or like two Ws. A giant flying zigzag, basically. It's seriously weird. <laughs> And it's this shape because the whole plane is one big wing. There's no separate fuselage for the pilot and no tail fins. And why was it built this way? To make it virtually invisible. OK, you're thinking, well, if it's an enormous big black W the size of half a football pitch, that doesn't sound very invisible to me. You'd be right, in a way. But it's on radar that it can barely be seen. When it's flying, if the enemy is scanning the sky with radar, its shape means that the waves bounce straight off, making it seem no bigger than a sparrow. So, next time you're making a paper plane, why not experiment with some different shaped wings? Time for me to fly! Chucks away! Amy's Aviation, with support from the Royal Aeronautical Society. Find out more about aviation 